Welcome to our Cortex Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll cover the ACES workflow within Cortex, new in version 3.1. The Academy Color Encoding System, or ACES, is a color management system developed by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences for handling color throughout the life cycle of a motion picture or television project. Let's just jump right in with setting up a project that uses ACES. In the Project Manager, create a new project and choose ACES 1.0 to enable all color-related options throughout Cortex. Setting ACES at the project level ensures that Cortex will provide ACES-compliant color space options for all deliverables. Set up the rest of your project according to the project specifications. Create your episode or folder, as well as your desired workflows. When creating each deliverable, ACES-related settings are available in the Color tab. Set your input and output color spaces, and then choose from the list of Output Device Transforms, or ODTs. Remember, each individual deliverable can have its own ODT. If you're creating EXR files to be delivered as an ACES package, this checkbox applies ACES package standards, setting and locking out the compression and format options. Open EXR files are the only deliverable that have this setting option. After you've created all your deliverables, create a new job and import your media. You may notice initially that your media looks different than expected. This is because the deliverable is configured with an ODT, while the media being viewed is missing an input device transform, or IDT. So, in the color tool, let's take a look at the ACES input tab. This is where you set the IDT for your media. Depending on the camera used to shoot, select the appropriate IDT. If using material that has a large number of IDTs available, use the Filter by Camera Metadata option to call the list based on intrinsic metadata in each clip. This should give you a smaller list of available IDTs for your choosing. Click Save, and then you can begin your color work as usual. However, if your media comes from a source that does not have an IDT available, Cortex contains LUTs that can transform your media to an ACES-ready color space. To confirm all color, framing, LUT, and device transform settings, click on the Pipeline tab. This gives you a full list of the active clip's color tool and ACES settings based on the deliverable configuration currently in the preview monitor. The labels colored magenta are found in the deliverable configuration. To modify any of these settings, click the Edit Config button, which will take you back to the configuration window to make your changes. And that is how Cortex works with ACES. For more tutorials and helpful information, please check out forum.mtifilm.com, which is our support portal, featuring a knowledge base, video tutorials like this, and the ability to submit help tickets as well as request features or updates.